my name is Deanna Menta, and today we're going to be making the 4 bar walking machine from Snappy XO. Let's rock and roll! Okay, so the parts needed for the 4 bar walking machine are 4 6x beams, 2 5x beams, 1 3x channel plate, 1 black DC motor, 1 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery mount to hold the battery, 125 point breadboard mount, one motor mount, two L clips, four fixed pivots, two fixed pivots, two F, two DC motor flanges, one motor support, and finally, a breadboard. So we first put the motor mount onto the black DC motor, and then we put the DC motor mount support onto the DC motor. So now we're going to put the DC motor flange on both sides of the DC motor shafts. So now we're going to put the fixed pivot onto the DC motor flange. Now you put the 3X channel plate onto the DC motor. We had an issue with the mount support, so we had to put a rubber band so it could stay attached. After that, I flipped over the 3X beam and I put two L clips on the second plus. So now we're going to be putting two of the 5X beams onto each of the L-clips. So now we're going to use this fixed pivot right over here. And we're going to attach it to the second plus over here. So now, take one of these 6x beams and put a fixed pivot on to the first x of that 6x beam. So now we're taking this circle on the 6x beam and putting it onto this fixed pivot. Now it moves. So now we're putting another fixed pivot over here going to the 6x beam. Then put another fixed pivot over here on this leg. So now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So now we're putting a fixed pivot on the second plus, just like we did on the other side. So now we're using another 6x beam and putting the fixed pivot on the first x just like we did in the other side. So now we're going to put this fixed pivot onto this circle on the red 6x beam. So now we're going to put this circle onto this fixed pivot.
So now we are done with our structure. So now I will put the battery mount inside of this first X. So now put your breadboard on the breadboard mount. After that, put this on the third X, which is over here. So now put a battery connector on your battery so that it has two long wires. The red is positive and the black is negative. Then put your battery on the battery mount. So now I want to put the battery connection on these breadboards. Red will go in any of these, any of these, any of these. So I'm gonna put it in this one. Just need to strain it. Okay, I'm having. So now I'm gonna put this red wire from the DC motor anywhere on this column. So I'm going to put it on the third pin. Then after that, I'm gonna put the black con connection over here. Oh, on this and any of these. Since this black wire is in in a column, in the same column with this black guy, then we're gonna put this red wire in the same column as that as this red wire. As we do this, it will start. See. put this red wire in a column with this red wire. After I put this wire, the machine will start going and walking.